Well, g'day everyone. Well, recently I've been sent this amazing device. Now, it's an Insta360 ONE X, and I have to say, and I'm not joking when I say that this has been the most fun that I've ever had with any device that I've ever purchased. Now, I'm still learning how to use this, so what I'm going to show you today is some really basic stuff, but boy, I cannot wait uh, to start to use this as I really learn what it can do because there's some amazing things that it will actually do and in fact uh, People that follow me know I also shoot video uh, for weddings and things like that in fusion Which is stills and video at the same time and I'm going to be incorporating parts of this uh, Into the wedding uh, because it would be just marvelous to do certain things I mean it has some wonderful features, but before we sort of go through all that uh, Let me just take you through what the unit is so let me just switch to this page here and I'll show you uh, so this is the Insta360 ONE X. So there's the front, and you can see here on the front that it just has a uh, small uh, LED screen that you've got there, and you've only really got two buttons, and I'll show you this in a second. Um, on the back, you've uh, just got the screen and just a, a little LED that shows if it's being charging. Um, the bottom or the top there, you've got a microphone, and on the bottom, you've just got an SD card that you put into there, and also a standard uh, screw hole that you can screw in a tripod or something like that as well. And then that's the side where you have your battery uh, compartment through there. Now, there is uh, four versions of this. This is a standalone kit. Uh, if you're looking at it, you can pay for that. If you want to go for the creator kit, this is what I got. Uh, and inside that, you get these. So what you get is you get... Um, this uh, Insta360, it's like a, a little tripod that you've got down here that you can use. And it's great because you can just stand it on the ground and do different things. Uh, the other part that you get to it is uh, this, which is the, it's designed for bullet time. And I'll show you a video with that being used as well. Uh, so this is a little handle that comes with it as well. Now this does pull out, so you can get quite long and high with this uh, handle, which is really nice. And it will also screw in to the bottom of this little stand. So if I screw this in, you'll see that um, you can then stand the unit up on its own. Uh, and that's also uh, really good. And the camera itself just screws into the top of that. So it's that simple uh, with this system. And it also comes with the card that you can see uh, here as well, which is a V30 card and it's a 32 gigabyte card. Uh, and I think that gave me around about an hour of recording time at 5.7K. Now, if you look at it, um, there are some videos, and I'll put the link for this down below. Um, but it does work really, really well with the iPhone or the iPad, and I'll show that working soon. Uh, but the great thing about this camera is it does do 5.7K video and 18 megapixel stills. Uh, it has great stabilization. Uh, it's called flow state stabilization, and that works very, very well as well. It will do 360 capture, slow motion. Uh, it has the invisible selfie stick. Now, the beautiful part about when you use this stick is it becomes completely invisible. Um, it, you can do Wi-Fi preview and transfer, so you can use your phone. Uh, for that and it also does things like time shift and HDR and I'll show a few of these things like I said I'm still uh, learning how to use this as well, but you know, it's great You can do 5k 30 frames per second 4k 50 frames per second and 3k at a hundred frames per second uh, If you then wanted to slow that down in post um, Really nice. I mean really good this it's got HDR you can see here. There's two images uh, this left one has no HDR, the one on the right has HDR, and you can see that it's captured all the detail in the sky uh, as against the non-HDR. And then it has this thing called smooth flow state, uh, which really does stabilize it and does an amazing job. It's very similar to other, uh, these sort of action cameras that are out there, but super stabilization I've found. Uh, and things like that. So I'll, like I said, I'll put this down uh, below. It will do things like tracking and other things as well. Um, fantastic. Um, and there is also a waterproof case that you can buy as well that will take you down to five meters uh, as well. Okay, so let's take you through this lovely little camera. Uh, it's so easy to use. There's, there's really just two buttons that you've got on there. Here is a power button, and it also cycles through your menus that I'll show you in a minute. Uh, on this side here, you'll use this to take your video or take your stills. Uh, and basically all you do is you just hold that bottom one in and it will power up. Now it shows you a firmware version on boot up. You can also check that through the menu, uh, menus as well as the app. 
Um, at the moment it's on interval shooting. Now to get through these different menus, all you do is you click on here. So that becomes then on video and you can see it's got 21 minutes left and it's got 5.7K at 30 frames per second. You can also see it's got wireless on, it gives you a battery indicator and also whether there's Bluetooth there as well. Uh, if I keep cycling through, you then get into your settings menu and you can click in there uh, to change all different settings like turn raw on, whether you want interval shooting, what resolution and things like that you'd like to go through. Um, so I'll just exit out of that. Now if you look on the side here, there's a little battery compartment. So if I open that up, you'll see that then I can just pull the battery out. Now you will need a few batteries if you want to last a whole day. I've got three, it does come with one battery. So there is a USB-C uh, if you want to charge this device up. I do recommend though to buy an external battery charger, particularly if you've got multiple batteries and that way you could charge the batteries up outside of this uh, device. And apart from that, really all you've got there is you have a back facing camera and if I turn that around, you've got a front facing camera. Um, at the top, you've got the uh, microphone and underneath you've got the micro USB card. Uh, and obviously that's how you attach a tripod or something like that. Let's see if we can interface this with the iPad. Now, um, it's the same as if you're using the phone, so it's not gonna matter. So I'll just show you on the iPad. It's just a little bit easier for you guys to see uh, on the screen. So you'll be able to see around my office studio. And all I do is I turn that unit on. Now, once it's turned on, let me just switch back to here. Once that's turned on, all I have to do is I've just got to load the Insta360 One X app uh, that I've got here on the iPad at the bottom. So if I launch that um, and I go back out here, all I have to do now is click onto the camera icon down the bottom. Now you'll see here that it just says connect now. So it's gonna connect via Wi-Fi. So I'm going to connect, it will say join. And once that comes up in a second, you'll see it, it will connect, which it has now. Now then, what I can do is I can just turn around 360 degrees inside my studio. So this is seeing both cameras around. So you can see that I can go up, I can go down, uh, I can switch to see all of the front here. Uh, I, can, I can also go completely uh, to the side and round to the back as well. Th this is how amazing this camera is. It's just unbelievable. Um, then all you do is, if you want to press record, I can just go over to here and then I can just press record and it will start recording that. Now you can see it's got the time button there as well. Uh, and that's really all there is to it. So it's very, very simple. Um, but you know, it's very, very easy to use. Uh, you can see here that you can go live if you want to go to, um, say, uh, stream live to somewhere, uh, to Facebook or to uh, YouTube. Now, if you want to change the way you record, I can just click down the bottom here and you'll see that uh, that is, uh, as you would normally see it, like a 16 by nine type image or 360 degree panorama. Um, here, you'll see that this is the mini world that you see. Uh, if I click again, it will be fisheye. So it's much wider. Now I can use zoom, I can zoom out with my fingers and I can blow up uh, with the fingers as well. Uh, if you want to get around. So you've got multiple ways of uh, recording this and whatever I set it at, uh, at that time and press the record, but, uh, record button, it will record in that format. You can see down the bottom here that I can put on filters. So I've got multiple filters that I could choose as well if I wanted to put a, uh, a filter on there. Um, you can have subtle, strong, moderate uh, as well. Uh, the stickers that you can stick on as well if you wanted to put something like that on and have a bit of fun. And there's also a snapshot as well that you can take that's grabbed a snapshot of your screen at that time. Uh, it's really nice to use. Okay, so if I'm in uh, the camera like this and I want to get to see what I've recorded, I can just click up the top left hand corner and then I'll see what I've got on my device. These are ones that I grabbed on the weekend. Uh, this is what I've just grabbed now. So I'll open that up. Now in the top right hand corner, there's just a little download button. If I click to there, it will download that onto my device. Now once you've got it in this uh, system, you can click on down the bottom there, you'll notice that there's a nine by 16 wide. Uh, you can have nine by 16, you can go one to one. So that will be if you wanted to say, go to Instagram, something like that. Um, or you could have 16 to nine wide. I'm just gonna go 16 to nine. Now to edit this, 
all I do is I go up to the top there and, and there's an edit button that I click on and then you can see that I've got things now like the filter I can put a filter in if I like um, I can go to adjust so this is where I can control color temperature contrast saturation if I wanted to change it um, highlights etc I can change that uh, shadow I've got control of, tone and sharpness. Uh, so this is where I can control all of those features as well. I'm not going to touch those but that's how you do it. If you're happy with it you just click on the tick up the top to confirm. Uh, if you don't want to do it you can click on the X uh, and discard changes because I'm not changing anything. Um, I'll go back into edit though. You can change the speed here as well so I could speed things up. Uh, I'm going to trim first so what you do is you click trim, click on the left hand side and then all you do is you just move to where you would like your clip tr uh, trimmed to. Then you click the right hand side and you just move to where you'd like it trimmed to. Uh, and then you just go confirm and that's trimmed at that side now. To play it, all I do is click on the play icon uh, there. Now if I want to click on points, this is where it becomes fun. Uh, you can just come into here, I can play a little bit, I can then stop and I can click on this little running man down the bottom here and I can say have a pivot point. So I can just set a pivot point through here. So that will then go to that point. Then if I want to I can set another pivot point here and set a pivot point there and then go back. So now if I play it you'll see what will happen is it's going to spin around. And that's how you do that. Uh, you know, it's very, very simple to do. You can set your speed and everything through this app. Uh, it's really powerful. Like I said, this is not really a tutorial on how to use it. I just wanted to show you how simple uh, this is to use it. Once you're happy with that, all you do is you click up on the top right hand side up there in the middle and you can go to Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Street View, Messenger, Twitter, Snapchat. You can also send out a link if you wanted to or go to an album uh, as well. So if you wanted to save that uh, to your uh, desktop, you can click on album and then it will um, be saved. Now the only thing you've got to think about is if you want this to be fixed frame will mean that it's flat or you can go 360 video. If it's 360 video you can still turn around uh, completely. It just depends on how you'd like to do that and then you just export it. Now there is an app you can run on your computer too and that's called Insta360 Studio. Uh, so we'll have a quick look at that. Um, so I've opened it up um, and it's pretty similar really to what you have in the app. The only thing that you can't do it won't do the um, four times or 16 times speed. Uh, I just can't seem to find that anywhere. Um, but all you do really is just drag your images in. It knows there's two files, so it will work that out for you because remember there's a front and back of the camera and it does the stitching automatically for you. Um, I'm not going to go through this. Like I said, I might do other videos uh, when I get some time and show how to go through all this as well. But uh, simply all you do with this is you just select the image you want uh, and you go on say free capture and then free capture will just let you move around to wherever you want to go uh, in this uh, image and you can also add things like your points and everything else as well. Um, you can change your um, aspect ratio from 1 to 1, 4, 3, 9, 16, 16, 9 and 235.1 uh, as well. Um, and you can also do your uh, cropping as well, just like the other program uh, would work too. Uh, it also lets you put in points as well, so you just simply click over there and you can add your point onto the image. Uh, you'll see that it's added a keyframe down the bottom down here, um, and then you could move from that point. Now in between, you can set transitions as well, so it will allow you to set transitions. Uh, so I'll show you how this quickly works. Let me just delete these um, points. And I'll show you. So what I've done is I've added a point coming in. So I'm walking. You can see then I've twisted the camera around, added another point in. And then I've twisted it back to myself to add another point there. Uh, and between them, if you click on those lines there, you can change uh, transitions to things like just cutting, uh, slip to fade out, fade in, etc, etc. So it's really good. Once you've finished, all you do to export it is click on this little icon up the top and then you can change your bit depth up to 200 megabits per second. Um, you can change your encoding to either H.265, H.264, uh, give your file a name. You can change the resolution here to match 
what you'd like and just put your path in and then it tells you the file size and you can just export it out. So it's really nice and easy to use. Um, you can do things like lock direction too. So if you wanted it to say lock on you or whatever, you could lock the direction so it doesn't change. Uh, you can do your cases here. Like if you're using a venture case or the dive case, that will get rid of those and eliminate them uh, and things like that. So it's, it's really good. Um, you can put logos in and things as well. So this is the desktop app. Um, I like using both. I suppose if you're on the field, you can use the um, uh, iPhone or the iPad app. And then when you come home, if you wanted to, you could then transfer to the desktop app. So what we'll do now, uh, I'll just show you some uh, of the images. I did look, uh, like I said, I'm no expert. I've only used it for one weekend. So this shows you what you can do in one shoot, actually. It was just uh, last Sunday I used this. So uh, just playing around. I'll get better and better as time goes on. Uh, so it just shows you anyway how you can do or what you can do uh, from a novice type of perspective. Uh, and like I said, once I start to learn really the intricate deals, uh, details of doing all this, I'll post some other videos. So what we'll do is we'll have a look at those images now. And after that, I'll just do a quick summary. so much fun like I said before I really enjoyed using uh, the 360 it's so much fun completely different to anything I've ever shot before I've just got to get my head around now that it's shooting front and back and sides and everything else all in one uh, and like I said I will get better over time there's only a couple of things that I'd like to discuss the screen that you're seeing here is almost impossible to see in daylight uh, nearly impossible I had to try and find some shade or something like that to, to actually see it so it's much easier if you use your phone or something like that and that, so that gets around that the other thing is occasionally you'll just see stitching and stuff where uh, it happens but overall I mean 
I think it's fantastic, and I think it's a brilliant buy, and I'm so glad uh, Insta360 sent it to me. I didn't have to pay for it, um, but I'm so happy that they sent it to me because I absolutely love it. And like I said, I'm going to incorporate it now into my other shoots. I will leave the links down below, so if you did want to purchase those, uh, this uh, camera system, uh, please use those links that are there. And apart from that, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now.